Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another uh, weekly episode. I'm feeling a bit better this week. Still a little. Not 100%, you know. Uh, but yeah, everything's good. Uh, I've, this is going to be a quick video, or quicker than normal. Um, I just don't have that much to show you. I will have a bunch to show you in next week's video because our monthly meet was today and I did get a few items. Um, but we're not going to show those. I already have some other stuff. Uh, prepared for this one uh so we're going to take a look at that this stuff that i got here which isn't which really isn't much but it'll be all right all right so found some basic cars i picked up a few things i think these are from n case hot wheels i got this mercedes benz right there looking pretty good in silver i think this originally came out in black and now this is a recolor i believe you guys will let me know if I'm wrong. Um, Dodge Rampage. I think this is a recolor of this in black. Looks all right. I just found a few cars. Um, this Porsche 914 Safari. Decent looking Porsche. Uh, Olds 442 in Gulf. Livery. Always a favorite, right? Gulf Hot Wheel. And let's see here. The Bronco. 2021 Ford Bronco in orange. I believe this originally came out in blue. Now we got it in orange. Uh, the Nissan R390 GTI, which is a new casting for 2021. This is in red. Uh, I think initially we seen it in blue. So a bunch of recolors. Um, and then two brand new castings I don't think that we've seen yet. Uh, the 94 Bugatti EB110 SS. Please, Mini GT, now that you have the licensing for Bugattis, could you do this car? I think it would be really cool to have this car in a legit 164 scale um, premium die cast. The Hot Wheels looks pretty good, and we are going to open up all these, um, but it would be really cool to get a premium version of it. And then we have a Toyota Land Cruiser 80, so another new model for 2021 pretty nice in this uh gray um looks good so we're gonna open up that one and check that one out as well so that's it for store finds this week i got um a detailed speaking of toyota land cruiser this is an lc80 i got this in the mail from travis the former heavy metal 164 now optical ruse on instagram um, he gave me a deal on this one shipped. He must have got a couple of these and wanted to get rid of one. I don't know if this is resin or if this is die cast. It's from die cast masters or whatever master. I doubt it's licensed. I'm guessing it's not. Uh, it's a collector's model, not a toy, not suitable for children under 14 years. I believe this company is a Chinese company not really sure but uh we'll we'll take a peek at it i don't think it's licensed i don't think anywhere here does it say have any licensing so i'm guessing it's not and a lot of these like china brands like this or whatever that seem to pop up all over the place are not um not licensed so there's that and then let's see here uh i got this in the mail i finally sprung for one of these this green light dung beetle uh, this is from the OKC Farm Truck website. Uh, pretty neat. We're going to open this up. We'll take a peek at this. Uh, it's been on my list to grab this one for a while, and now I have it. Pretty cool piece. Um, and then I got also an eBay, two eBay purchases. I purchased a Ferrari 348 that I did not have. I've been kind of chipping away at these castings I collect now, trying to close out some of them. So this I didn't have, and then I also didn't have this variation of it. So another 348. This was in a thing of two, so I'll probably end up getting rid of one of these. But uh, I'll show you the difference when we get to um, the next half, of course, when we open them up. And then speaking of castings I collect, I picked out a couple I haven't opened yet that I need to get open to add to the collection. Uh, one is this like race bait 308 Ferrari 308 tattoo machines. So we'll open up this one, just kind of a goofy one, but we'll we'll open that up, take a look at that. And then a Color FX Lamborghini uh, Countach with a highway hauler. 
Um, the highway hauler, I don't really care about, but the, the Countach, I definitely do. And I decided to get this open. The reason why I want to open these up is because I keep forgetting that I have them. And then I'm looking on eBay. I'm like, do I have that? And the ones that are in my list are the ones I already have loose. And I haven't added these. So I'm like, I got to get these opened up and get these, you know, added into the collection. So I remember that I have them. Um, so that's it. That's, that's going to be it. We're going to go ahead and just look at everything you just saw. We're going to open up everything. Uh, we'll take a peek at it. Definitely the highlight, man. This Bugatti is... Um, pretty cool uh i am psyched about this this was like the maybe the new casting of the year for me for 2021 it's just a it's such a odd looking car i don't know kind of a unique looking uh supercar or whatever exotic car from you know the 90s so pretty neat all right that's it let's go ahead and flip the camera around and let's open some stuff up and it uh, should be a short one this week we'll see we'll see all right, guys, so let's start with this thing. Uh, this Toyota Land Cruiser LC80 Diecast Masters or Mastered. I'm not really sure. Whatever it is. So here's a look around the packaging. I guess you can get a version of this with like a snorkel and roof rack and stuff like that. Some accessories and stuff like that. This is not that. Um, and then this is all you get for information on the bottom. Which basically just tells you it's not a toy, it's a collector's model in a bunch of different languages. And that's all you get there. And I'm wondering if this is just not even the right packaging for this, which is possible. Maybe that's not supposed to be there. I don't, I don't know. But the image does not match the vehicle. Uh, acrylic case. It's one of those acrylic cases where they have like the little metal labeling here pretty much anytime you see like this metal label i if in my experience you can pretty much count on it not being licensed chinese and not licensed which is whatever i mean if it's up to you if you want to buy that support those companies or support those people or whatever i have a couple models in my collection i don't it really doesn't bother me all that much as long as the model is is good it just feels it's just weird i don't know that they do that um so here it is oh my gosh this thing actually rolls i was not expecting that i think it is actually metal too yeah it's cold yeah metal base metal body i'm not familiar with die cast ma or master master die i don't even know i'm not familiar with them um, but this is pretty detailed. It's a pearl white. Actually quite detailed. I thought for sure this was going to be like a resin almost. Uh, you got mirrors, side mirrors there. Spare. And surprisingly, this thing cruises. Pretty awesome. So it's uh, held together by one screw and it screws into the base there got some plastic pieces of course the mirrors and stuff looks like a very detailed uh, interior and in it's right hand drive uh, pretty detailed front end here the lights are yeah, they're pretty good they're, there's some a little bit of slop in there but not not much you have to get real close to notice it eh, I don't know I like this I guess I'll check out some more stuff from this brand. Uh, the not license, the no licensing thing. I don't know what your moral stand standing is on all of that, but uh, it probably should be licensed, and it's not. Uh, but so I guess it's up to you whether or not you want to buy that type of car. Let me know in the comments. Does that matter to you or not? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. All right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what should we look at next? I guess we'll look at the only other. I think I only have one other non-Hot Wheel today. And that's this green light, so I guess we'll peek at that. <clears throat> Volkswagen Beetle. Dung Beetle. Carter, for this is really cool. It's fantastic. That's pretty neat. And then... Here's some stuff in the back here. This 
So if you want to get one of these, you can go to eBay for it, but the best place actually is probably just go to okcfarmtruck.com. <clears throat> That's definitely the best. So let's go ahead and open her up. Requires some sort of cutting device. I have no idea. It says limited edition. I have no idea how many they made. And who knows? They might just keep making them. Maybe they order them in batches. This is number 4,456. I was expecting it to not roll really well, and I was right. <sighs> These big, chunky tires. Crazy. Oh, there goes my uh, serial number. Not that it really matters. This is the old Motor World tooling. Too. This is not going to stay stuck there. This is the old Motor World uh, tooling. The classic Beetle. So it's not like they're more detailed version of the casting. Um, I don't even know if this one even has it. Yeah, it does have a tooling number on it. It's a GO. It might be 55 something dash something. But yeah. The Dung Beetle. It's fairly detailed it looks pretty cool i'm not sure it's up to you i guess but you can go to the website and see how much these things are they're not cheap i think they're like 20 bucks plus shipping uh for this to get one of these and they have a bunch of other die cast 164 scale die cast on there some of it's green light i almost got the farm truck i should have got the farm truck actually um you know there's a some more details about the, the actual beetle. You can look it up. I mean, it's just pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, they have other die casts. Some of it's Johnny Lightning, and some of it is uh, Green Light that have made a few of the vehicles. So you can check those out on there. Uh, best place, I mean, people for some reason go to eBay for this stuff, but the, really it's cheaper just to go right to them and buy them from them. Uh, instead of from somebody that's reselling these. So, doesn't really roll. Didn't really expect it to roll. Kind of a cool representation of this Beetle. And, yeah, I dig it. It's a cool piece. I'm glad to finally have one in my collection. I just decided to go ahead and just pull the trigger on one. So, All right, let's get into old Hot Wheels, and then we'll do new Hot Wheels. Let's start with this Tattoo Machines... Uh, Hot Wheels 308, if you want to... Mattel did some wacky stuff right in the past. I have Igor. I think I also have Open Wide. Um, I don't think I have any of these other ones. Which, of course, Igor is a Porsche 959. Open Wide is the Baja Breaker. Yeah, look at that cool dude with a cool tattoo. Tattoo machines. Comes with temporary tattoos. Picture yourself in these. Collect all 12 cars. Um, and you can only see 8 pictured here. So there are 12 total. Uh, copyright date on this is, as you can see, 1992. Um, probably came out, I would guess, that year or maybe 93. So let's check it out. Here's your sheet of temporary tattoos. No idea if these are going to still be good or not. Um, probably not. I don't know. Maybe. Eh, probably not. But anyway, there's those. And then, here's the car. So, nothing great about the car. It's just, I had to get it because I collect this casting. And when you collect a casting, and especially when you collect a casting that's been out since this era of Hot Wheels, there's going to be some goofy versions of it that you'll end up having to get. Um, I just noticed, too, that this has two small wheels instead of uh, a big wheel in the back, which is something they did with this casting. Some of the some of the variations had a large wheel in the back, and some of them had the same size wheels. Um, I wonder if there's a variation of this out there with the two big size wheels. Probably not, but... If there is, I'll, I guess I'll have to find that one, too. But yeah, real basic, just blue with Hot Wheels logos tattooed all over it. 
yeah it's wacky what can you say it's a nice blister pull of this though and um we'll enter my race bait 308 308 whatever it's gone under a few different names casting so happy to have it in the collection now loose uh next ones we'll look at let's look at these 348s real quick so two, two of these are the same it's these two i'm just double checking that there is no weird variation going on between the two and i don't think that there is we'll look at the bases and all of that it looks like everything is the same um, we'll go ahead and open this one I guess the card's a little bit in worse shape on this one. So just in case I end up giving this to someone who cares about card condition. Ah, well, I picked the wrong one to open. We're going to open the other one. And we got packaging rub here on the side. Well, unless I can rub that off. Okay, never mind. All is good. That is the nice thing about getting two of those. If you have one with issues, you are able to replace it immediately. So this was in a lot of two. It was not expensive. This car came out in a few different wheel variations with this metallic black paint. It's just one of these castings from Hot Wheels I do collect. There's a bunch of weird versions of this that have come out since its creation. And some of them are kind of tough to get. Um, but I am getting close. I'm getting close to the completion on this casting. There's one that's really tough to get. It's a yellow one with gold hot, uh, ultra hots. That one, anytime I've seen it, People have been asking ridiculous amounts of money for it. So that one's got to be tough. Hopefully one day I will come across it. Here's the other one. This is a blue card one, number 226. I have no idea exactly what date any of these came out, by the way. Um, this one might be, you know, it's got to be early 90s. This one's this probably the same, early 90s. Um, this one is different. It's, a, it's an enamel black. Uh, with this 348 graphic on it, the seven spoke wheels. Um, the interiors are also reversed on these. So this one has like black dashboard, red middle of the seats, which makes the red bar back here. This one is reversed of that with the red dashboard, black in the rear. So yeah, a couple of differences there plastic base on this casting it's just one of those castings i had a few as a kid and it's a casting i collect it's one of those old school ferrari castings i collect i collect this one the 308 uh the f40 um the testarossa uh and i think it's just those four basically that i collect that i collect and then same goes with lamborghini which is why we want to look at this, the Lamborghini, old Lamborghini Countach casting I collect, and the old Diablo casting I also collect. So you have to have this, Color FX, Blast, Splash, Paint, Color Customizing with Water again and again. The colors change instantly and stay till you change them. Well, isn't that cool? Uh, looks like these were four ninety six dollars at Pick and Save back in the day. Still have pick and saves around here. Um, here's some of the other um, car combinations you could get. I'm guessing these 92 Camaros were probably popular. Uh, this is kind of neat because it does show you both colors. Um, however, I don't think they're accurate, at least not for this Countach, because this is the uh, Countach one that we've got here. So no image on the box, image on the box, so it looks like a dinosaur. And then that's like a whitish yellow, and this is like a, which looks like blue, but this obviously isn't blue, this is gray. Um, and I don't think there's any other variation of it. I still need to get, I think I need to get this one because I do collect the Baja Bug, that's another casting I collect, and the Testarossa. I think I actually may have the Testarossa though. Without looking at the top, there was a bunch of different color changing testeroses. I don't know if I've got the, the one or not. So this is, these do have plastic bodies. At least this casting does. I can tell just by looking at it. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. Oh, by the way, these came out, I don't know, it's 1993 is the copyright date. So that's probably fairly accurate. 
Ugh. Okay, so here's one problem about these when you get them carded is the the little color changing paintbrush thing is I shouldn't even take it out of here because it is completely deteriorated. So we're just going to move that to the side. Actually, we're going to move it to a garbage can and then take a look at these. I'm sorry I didn't bring out water to dip these in. It would have been kind of cool to actually see the color change, but you can see the image of the dinosaur on the side here, and that's what you would see. Um, sometimes if you hold them for a while, the heat from your hands will change the color. So kind of a cool highway hauler. I'm sure somebody at my local club or whatever will be into this one and will want that. This, of course, is the one I wanted. So, yeah, it looks like it. maybe it is a blue. I guess it is sort of a blue. And I guess it changes to a sort of a white. It does have a... Is that... Is this full plastic? No, that's metal. So it does have a metal base and then a plastic... Oh, yeah, this one's really changing easy with the heat from my fingers. It's got, oh, yeah, snakes. Snakes on it. Green interior. That's kind of cool. So, so it changes to white with the uh, green snake graphics. I don't know if there's anything on the side. I don't think so. No, it just turns white. So that's kind of cool. So they change with temperature, basically. Had to get this one. Had to add it to the collection. Cool to get a blister pull version of it. Usually when you see any of these color changers, it's tough to get them in mint condition. Uh, especially the metal ones, too, because the, that paint seems to flea bite really easy. Um, so it does get, like, it chips really easy. And a lot of times the color changing stuff, kids played with it, you know. But... I don't know. I might turn this thing to all white. We'll heat it up, and then I'll put it in my collection like that and see if it changes back to the blue or that ugly, weird blue color. So, kind of cool, right? So there's that. And then, I guess, what? We're on to modern Hot Wheels. So let's just kind of run these down. 67 Oldsmobile 442 in Gulf livery. Yeah, you know, basic Hot Wheels. I still love them. Still a fan of the basics. Little toy for a dollar. So that's kind of cool. I also picked up like the X-Men X-Wing thing or whatever. From X-Men plane. And I gave that to one of my buddies because I'm not really into X-Men. Alright, and then uh, Porsche 914 Safari. We've seen this one come out before in yellow. There that is. Kind of an odd looking Porsche. Kind of cool nonetheless. Um, save the best for last, right? Nissan R390 GTI. It's a cool car. This one's wasn't opening very easy in red pretty cool kind of an odd looking front end on this car but pretty cool nonetheless and let's see here next we got a well we got the Bronco we'll take a look at that real quick Is this like supposed to be the legit Bronco or is this like the Bronco Sport or what is it? Is this the one that like everybody's been waiting for that nobody has? Because of some issue with like the top or something like that? I don't know. Somebody let me know in the comments there on that one. Looks all right in orange. I think it's kind of a cooler color for this than blue in my opinion. Very right, cool little casting. What have you. Uh, the Dodge Rampage. 
I like this casting. It's just this was a old school Hot Wheels casting that only got released like once, and then it was retooled again for Hot Wheels. Um, for like the Hot Ones or Flying Colors or Customs or whatever series. And now we see it here with the all plastic. It's kind of a cool oddball truck, car, truck, car, car, truck kind of thing. And then uh, this Mercedes. This one's really nice. This is a nice, just basic Hot Wheels um, casting where you get uh, kind of exactly what you want, right? I mentioned it several times. You get, you know. Some graphics in the front that depict the grill and the headlights. And then, of course, some graphics in the back, too, for taillights. And that's all you need. Everything else is pretty detailed in the molding on the side. Your doors and everything, door handles. This one's got side mirrors. Um, appropriate basic wheel choice, I think, for this casting. It looks great in silver. I think it looks better in this silver than it does in black. And uh, it's quite a nice nice uh little tooling uh new for 2021 um and then this guy we're going to more trucks here and this is your toyota land cruiser 80. so this is a land cruiser 80 the other one's an lc80 that we got from diecast masters and here's something somewhat interesting you might find interesting they were really close in size very close in size in fact in almost every dimension this one's a little bit narrower it's slightly shorter but not very much shorter i don't know how these compare trim level wise so we can't really compare them um but i would say you know for 164 scale if this is legit 164 scale how has actually got it kind of close with this basic model believe it or not which is kind of cool for the truck castings to be anywhere close Basic plastic spare, of course, on the back. They're limited to what they can do to make these models and keep them under a dollar. Keep them sold for a dollar here in the U.S. Um, that's cool. I like it. It's not bad. I don't know. I don't really care too much. These new um, off-road tires are definitely, or wheels, basic wheels, are definitely better than these, I think. But I still, I'm just not, not a huge fan of them. All right. Lastly... The casting that I've been waiting for is the 94 Bugatti EB110 SS. This thing is sweet. Looks pretty cool. New for 2021. Of course, there's a blurb about the car back here. If you want to read that. Carbon fiber chassis in 1994. Um, that's pretty cool quad turbocharged quad turbocharged v12 0 to 60 in 3.2 221 miles an hour this thing really went 221 back in 94 that's pretty awesome yeah i'd love to get a premium detailed version of this i don't see why mini gt wouldn't do it they should they should really do it think about doing it they do a great job with this car and let's see how the basic car looks I don't really have anything to compare it to because I don't think anybody makes this in 164 scale. You guys can correct me if, I, if I'm wrong. I think Hot Wheels is the first. As far as I am aware. Again, you get details in the back. You get details in the front. Little Bugatti logo there. You got the headlight. The weird looking kind of headlight front end. Uh, those headlights are part of the window piece. And I like it. I think it's pretty cool. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, yeah, pretty awesome. All right, so basic, basic, real basic haul this week. Uh, nothing too crazy. Next week, I should be a good one. Um, so definitely tune in next week and uh, check it out. Um, I would say highlight for this week, I don't really know. I, think, as I guess the Dung Beetle, of course, it's cool to check that off. But just this basic old little Hot Wheel right here is my favorite of the week. All right, you guys let me know, again, what you think. And, you know, like, comment, subscribe. That would be great. Um, it does help me out a bit to have more subscribers and definitely more viewers. So, if you know anybody that's watching YouTube videos regarding Diecast, 164 scale, recommend my channel to them. I would appreciate it. Um, lots of fun stuff here. 
um, you know, for all different types of brands and stuff like that at 164 scale. So check them all out. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.